Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've been really busy killing bed bugs. <laughs> it seems like they've been really bad everywhere. And this is a video here for you guys to try to help you kill bed bugs yourself. Are you ever, uh, you ever wonder where they live? Um, the primary places that they could be? Uh, it's in this video. I'm gonna show you, I actually did a bed bug job for a lady and uh, I have a, a box spring, I show a uh, recliner chair, and I show a baseboard and how to treat these areas effectively for bed bugs. Now I have lots of other videos on my channel, so if you like this video, think about liking it, think about subscribing to my channel, think about thumbing me up if you really like it, um, and hopefully, you know, what I've got on this channel can help you. Um, I've got lots of videos, uh, hundreds of videos even, to try to help you do all your pest control problems, not just bed bugs. I've got videos on cockroaches, mice, ants, fleas, lots of stuff. And I try to save people money. That's the goal of this channel. So stay tuned and take a look at these different clips that I took while I was uh, treating this home. Now, keep in mind, that the first clip you'll see is uh, a box spring. So I show uh, what to do with a box spring, uh, how to treat a box spring, where on the box spring bed bugs live, and uh, second clip is one of, this is, I'm saying all this now so I don't have to like splice me back and forth, back and forth <laughs> explaining to you, but uh, in the second clip you'll see uh, a recliner chair. Now this is like a lazy boy type chair that's been kind of reupholstered and uh, I show you how to treat inside the chair, how to actually get inside the chair without damaging the chair so you can treat for bed bugs in the chair. And on my third clip, I show how to treat baseboards because baseboards, baseboards is really something I don't really go into very often on the channel, but it is a really important place when you're dealing with bed bugs. And the reason this is, is because bed bugs don't like a lot of movement. So for example, if you're walking into your house and you've got bed bugs on your clothing or maybe on a luggage bag or something maybe you were at a hotel and picked some up came home and you drop your luggage bag down the bed bugs the first place they're going to go is to the place of least vibration they don't like a lot of vibration or movement so they're not going to stay like in the middle of the floor a lot of people ask me they'll say uh what about my carpets in my house i'm worried about the bed bugs i think they're living in my carpets well bed bugs don't really live in your carpets now, they'll live down beside the carpet and under your tack strips and places like that up next to the edge, like the wall, um, but they're not going to live in heavily trafficked areas. So areas that you're walking through all the time, you're not going to have bed bugs. Now, if you're getting bites in those areas, you might have a problem with fleas because fleas will live in heavy traffic areas. So keep that in mind. Bed bugs like to live near baseboards and on beds and bed frames and furniture, places that aren't, they don't feel all this vibration for people walking across the house all the time. And so I show in the, the final clip, it's just three, just three places. So it's a nice, sweet, short video. Um, but the, the last place I show is a baseboard. And like I said, the reason this is, is because let's assume that you have bed bugs living on your bed. One of the places bed bugs will retreat to are right down behind the headboard, right to the baseboard just feet away from where you're sleeping. So it's a really common place. I have been in homes where I could not find bed bugs on the bed. I could not find bed bugs on the box spring. I couldn't find them anywhere at all and come to find out they were actually living behind the baseboard. So this is one of an extremely common place that I see that people really uh, overlook a lot. And so that's why I wanted to include it in this video. Hopefully this will help you eliminate your bed bugs and like I said, if you really like it, think about subbing to my channel, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. So when you pick up your bed, now this is the box spring. There's the mattress. So I picked up the mattress, and I turned over the box spring. The places you want to check are, you see how this is stapled like this? This is your felt mat, or sometimes it's felt, sometimes it's some kind of other cloth. But what you want to do is you want to peel it back. Now look there. I found one. Now see? You couldn't tell that was there. But yep, when you peel that down, there's a bed bug right there. 
Hey, he's live too. He's moving. He's moving slow because he's usually they sleep during the day, so you don't really have them. But you check all around this. See, there's some poop there. So that's what their droppings look like. See? Now their eggs, right over here, if I can get it to focus for me, right here, See if you can see that. See that little speck right there? That's an egg. I don't know if you can't really see it too well with this picture. I'll try to light it up the best I can, but it's kind of a dark bedroom. But there's one right there. See that little spot right there? That's an egg. That's a bed bug egg. So you can see every stage. It's not a problem to see the bed bugs. And see, here's a staple. I usually tell people to check around the staples. There's a lot of bed bug poop in there. All those little black specks. That's bed bug poop. So, there's some skins. I don't know if you could see or not. It's really dark in here. And the dark, the fact that this little piece of felt is dark makes it even harder. But that right there is a skin. So, you uh, usually they have a little plastic guard right here on the corner of the mattress. You could peel that back and look inside there. And a lot of times you can find a lot of what I'm showing you here. So I'm going to get to, now, so, now I will, I'm going to get to treating this, but first I want to tell you, um, what I recommend is pull this off, pull this whole sheet, everything, just pull it completely off. You can staple it back on if you want to, but pull that entire box spring cover off and that way you can treat all it. Let me show you. So if you, if you're real careful, we don't fling bed bugs everywhere. See, there he is. Look at him hanging out there. There's a little baby there. See, this is what the babies look like. Now, see, they look translucent. They're not dark like him. See, if you look at this one here, he's dark. He's fed. He's he's full. This one over here, he's just a baby. See, he hadn't gotten a full meal. He's, he hadn't eaten as much as the big one, though. So, and then here's a casing here. This is a really good picture of a casing. See, there's a casing right there. So, if you pull this thing off of here and look up inside, see, that's springs and stuff. You gotta treat that. You gotta get all up inside the box spring because if you don't, bed bugs will live there. So you got to at least open it like this so you can spray inside it. You don't have to take the whole thing off. I just usually recommend just taking it off. It doesn't do anything, but maybe keep cats and dogs from getting up inside it if you've got pets. But uh, maybe keep dust from collecting. But I definitely recommend uh, treating the box spring. Most of your bed bugs are going to live there. Now this is a reclining chair that I have flipped upside down. See? This is really important. This is a place a lot of people miss. A lot of your newer recliners that are upholstered have these little, now I've already treated this chair, but they have these Velcro strips. Bed bugs will get down inside these Velcro strips and live there. But with the main thing is that you flip it up and you can get all up inside it where you normally would not be able to do it if it wasn't for the fact that you can open it. So be sure to check these areas, treat these areas, make sure you get it done because if someone comes in here and sits in this chair and goes, and see that's the crack, that goes right into where you sit. If you sit in this chair, those bed bugs will come down and they will come right on down and seat right in this piece of Velcro or up inside this little box here where it screws together. They love to get inside recliners. This is a baseboard. Now, I don't think I've ever included this in any of my other videos, but when you treat a baseboard for bed bugs, you really should do it because they will hide in these little cracks. See how the cracks, they're so small, but look, things can live in there. So you've got to treat in the cracks of the baseboard. You gotta do that. So keep in mind, Bed bugs do live behind baseboards. They don't just live on beds. Thank you.